In this lecture, we're going to discuss sperm production and sperm maturation. But before we get started with that, the first thing we need to talk about are some of the basic terms that are used in genetics. And so when we say that a cell is diploid, what we're, we're going to use is 2N. So N is what's going to represent the number of chromosomes. So a diploid cell has a total of 46 chromosomes because N is 23. So we have 23 pairs of chromosomes. And so 22 of these uh, pairs of chromosomes are autosomal and then one pair is going to be the sex chromosome or the sex chromosomes. So with males they have an XY and with females they have two X's. So then what represents a haploid cell is just N because we're going to have only 23, um, 23 chromosomes. Okay, so now we need to talk about what's the difference between mitosis versus meiosis. So with mitosis, what the end result is, is we get two diploid cells compared to meiosis where we get four haploid cells. So if you think about it, the reason that these four haploid cells, the reason that for, during meiosis we're producing haploid cells is because the, um, the chromosomes from the dad, right, you get 23 from mom and then you get 23 uh, from dad. And so when you add those together, right, that's 46 uh, total chromosomes. All right, so now we can get into spermatogenesis, but the first thing we need to look at here is where we're at, where this process is happening. So with here are these coil tubes, which are known as the seminiferous tubules, and this is the site where spermatogenesis occurs. So what I have drawn here, this is a cross section of the seminiferous tubules. And so during this process, what we're trying to produce is the, immat the immature uh, sperm cell, which is known as the spermatozoa. And so the tail of the spermatozoa is gonna be found here within the lumen. But in order to get there, we have to start at this point. So this is where um, the stem cell is. So the stem cell, it divides into two types of cells. So it divides into type A and type B daughter cells. Okay, so um, once we get here to the end, what the spermatozoa look like, so we're gonna produce four of our haploid units. So this is the head, and then this is the, the tail of the sperm. And they also contain this part here, which is just what's left over from the cytoplasmic membrane. Okay, but um, how do we get to this point? Well, let's work our way backwards. So spermatozoa develop from what's known as spermatids. And late spermatids develop into spermatozoa. But the difference between the two is that we still have our four haploid gametes here. But the difference is, is that they're all connected at this point, which is known as the cytoplasmic bridge. They're all connected here together. So then once they become spermatozoa, they're four single um, separate cells. Okay, well, what happens during, whenever we have our early spermatids? So early spermatids, we still have our four haploid cells that are connected together. But the difference is they don't have tails yet. They haven't developed this characteristic yet. Okay, but in order to produce these four haploid gametes, they have to um, develop from what's known as spermatocytes. So with spermatocytes, the secondary spermatocytes are going to develop into the early spermatids. And so at this point, this is whenever we complete 
meiosis two. So what we're starting off here for the secondary spermatocytes is two haploid cells. So we have these two haploid cells, and then from here, we then get our four haploid cells. Okay, well, what about going from primary to secondary? So in order to get, so from primary spermatocytes, we have a single diploid cell. So once meiosis one is complete, we now have our two haploid cells. So now we've completed our journey here, starting with our stem cell, getting into our type B daughter cell, which is still diploid, and then it differentiates here into the primary spermatocytes. And then from here, we further develop until this process continues until we finally get to our spermatozoa. Okay, well, like I said, this is the immature form, and so it has to undergo some modifications. So that way it's a mature sperm. And so now that they're all, you know, single entities here, they can now travel from the siphoniferous tubules into the epididymis or sperm maturation. And so what happens during sperm maturation, they travel to the epididymis, and then, so let me draw my sperm cell here. And so they start to develop features that are gonna help with fertility, which will allow it to penetrate, penetrate the ovum or the egg and then we also need to improve motility, so it's movement. And so some of the structural modifications that happen, so here at the top of this chromosome, this is what's known as the acrosome. So this acrosome undergoes biochemical changes. And what these biochemical changes do is it allows it improves the machinery so that way this the sperm cell can penetrate the ovum okay so then what's connected here to this tail is this region here this is what's known as the midpiece and so what this midpiece acquires are these glute receptors okay because in order to power the motility in order to power this tail for motility, it needs an energy source. And what we use for this energy source is some of the sugars. So glucose, mannose, and fructose. So this is why we have these receptors here. Well, how is the tail modified to improve the motility? So what happens is we're changing some of the microtubules. So we're just modifying the microtubules, which is what makes up the tail. Okay, well, earlier I said, I just said that the glute receptors, this is, they're using this in order to have these energy sources which can then be broken down into ATP to power the movement of the tail. But the source of these sugars is from the accessory glands. So the accessory glands uh, for the male, what's um, these accessory glands, that's where the glucose, for, uh, mannose, and fructose is gonna be found. So that way the sperm can use that in order to move its tail. And so that concludes this, this lecture. I uh, hope you enjoyed it.